If you guys have not heard the news, Nate Hobbs has broken some part in his hand. Rather, it's his thumb or his actual hand. He has some broken bones. Nate Hobbs put this out on Twitter. He said, I done been face to face with death. You're crazy if you think broken bones gonna stop me. Wrap me up and get me back on the field with my brothers. I ain't hiding. I'm right here. Uh, if you guys don't know, there's during the game last week, Hobbs came off the field and the Raiders official Twitter account put out that he is questionable to return. Obviously, they said it was his thumb. And I'm not 100% sure exactly if it's his thumb, but he says that he has broken bones, which I'm assuming it's more than one bone. Uh, but Nate Hobbs being potentially out or potentially not 100% is a massive deal for the Raiders. Nate Hobbs is the Raiders' best cornerback, and against the Chiefs, he looked really, really bad. He gave up like five or six catches, a lot of yards, and he didn't look like the same Hobbs. And it actually makes sense, right? If you're a cornerback, being able to grab onto someone's jersey, being able to punch someone 15 yards downfield, get your hand on a guy, it's very typical of a cornerback to, to need to be able to do that. And of course, if you have a broken bone, a thumb, a hand, whatever it is, and it's wrapped up, especially then you can't grab onto someone. Now, I'm not sure if this is a two week injury. I'm not sure if this is going to be a six week injury. I'm not even sure if he needs surgery, right? Like we don't really know exactly what's happening. I'm sure we're going to find out in the next couple of days, but this is really unfortunate. You know, Hobbs is the Raiders best cornerback. Having him healthy makes his defense better. Having him healthy allows us to do more because we can blitz him we can do different things off the edge and have him line up on the best corner uh, ride receiver right rather it's mike williams on third and short when we need the stop and he's the type of guy that will come up and actually make the stop um, it's unfortunate i think the best way forward is to not play him i know some people may not agree with that but i think for the raiders to not play him and to let him fully get healthy is the way forward uh, broken bones generally heal up pretty quickly um it shouldn't be more than like four to six weeks at the max right like that's like the high end of it, it could be sooner um, of course if he thinks he can wrap it up and play great but uh this last week wasn't wasn't good right the film was not good so we'll see what ends up happening let me know what you guys think about it is it a big deal to should we have him? Should we not? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.